One of only four fully operational World War II merchant steamships in the United States, the American Victory Ship is considered a national and local treasure. The American Victory has called Tampa home since 1999 and shares a rich piece of history with the community. Utilized during World War II for cargo and transports, the Victory Ships proved to be an exceptional replacement for the prominent Liberty Ships. The Liberties served their purpose. They were wonderful ships, but uh, they just were very slow. As a result, a slightly larger but much faster ship, the Victories, were conceived, and 534 of those were constructed during the war. They can carry enough fuel to steam around the world without refueling, and they just proved to be a very wonderfully flexible ship. The American Victory not only played an important role in World War II, she also served in the Korean and Vietnam Wars and continues to serve the Tampa Bay area today. She does so by training firefighters, police officers, first responders, uh, FBI, active and reserve military, working dogs that uh, keep our uh, ports and our community safe. In addition to helping train local service men and women, the American Victory Ship and Mariner's Museum preserves American maritime history. She takes visitors back to the 1940s to experience a fully functioning steamship. But in order to do so effectively, a certain preservation of the vessel must happen every two and a half years. The Victory Ship recently entered dry dock at Gulf Marine to undergo a maintenance and restoration project. The time spent in dry dock is required by the Coast Guard for her to set sail in the future. They took a hard look at her hull and determined that she was in fantastic shape for a nearly 70-year-old ship. We did some welding and some uh, other work on her. We painted her up so she looked uh, brand new and uh, put her back in the water so she could safely start sailing. We had to scrape the bottom. She had a lot of barnacles on her. We uh, water blasted, uh, applied the coating from the water line down, applied the dazzle coating from the water line up to the cap rail. We polished the propeller. Uh, there was a lot of work done in nine days, and I'm, you know, I'm proud of all the people that worked on it and our guys, everybody jumped in there and really got it done. Aaron Hendry, CEO of Gulf Marine and Hendry Corporation, spearheaded the American Victory Ship Dry Dock Committee. With the Port of Tampa being one of the largest ports in the nation, Hendry thinks it's vital to maintain the upkeep of the vessel and to share her history with the community. We need a maritime type museum and to have one that floats is better yet. I think it's something that the community needs to, to uh, stay behind because it's really part of our heritage uh, to, to be ever mindful of uh, the commitment and the sacrifices that these uh, merchant mariners made in World War II. Due to the dry docking of the vessel, the American Victory can pass along history even better than before by allowing visitors to experience a voyage firsthand. We're now able to conduct relive history cruises again, which has always been uh, one of the most popular things that we do. It allows people of all ages to get aboard a World War II ship, cast off the lines, and go for a cruise on Tampa Bay. But what's even more exciting to me is how this project brought together many different vendors within the port community, uh, people who generally uh, compete with each other for, for work. They, would, they were working side by side, and this just goes to show that the American Victory truly is the icon uh, of the port industry. The 10,000 plus ton cargo vessel holds a hefty price tag, with the restoration exceeding $220,000. Though significant funds have been raised, additional support is necessary to complete the funding of the project. To make a donation to the Full Steam Ahead campaign, ensuring the vitality of this national treasure, contact Bill Kuzmik at director at AmericanVictory.org.